Well, I think they were hoping for something. Maybe you know, they just that, want to get to the main event now. Yeah, maybe that's it. They were hoping for more, like their first fight, a spirited back and forth. And Francis Bartholomew in the corner. Yeah. Or the team missile. Champion. I understand why fans are booing. For one, um, let's be honest, they probably don't know who uh, your Dennis Ugas is, and they definitely don't know who uh, uh, Caesar Miguel Barry Nuevo is. So this was a showcase fight for your um, your, your Dennis Ugas because he is right now going to be likely the mandatory for Errol Spence, but he is also um now going to be a mandatory for the winner of danny garcia and uh sean porter which is a fight that's coming up next um t street controversy this is t street controversy live i cover every single major fight live and you guys did what he was supposed to do in regards to put on a good performance for himself but unfortunately since fans don't know who he is and since he's not really a household name you know, they're like, okay, boo, what is this? We wanted to see a knockout. And also, um, um, Kwanowski and Charles Martin had the fight of the night. I mean, we haven't seen Garcia versus Porter yet, obviously. So, you know, coming from that high, from that very good heavyweight fight to this where there wasn't a stoppage or there wasn't really um, um, a back and forth. It was more so your Dennis Ugas um, literally dominating um, Barrio Nuevo for the whole fight. So understand that this fight was here for you guys to get used to your Dennis, you guys, because he's going to be the mandatory for Garcia Reporter or the mandatory for Errol Spence, because right now he's ranked number two by the IBF. And this fight right here was an eliminator for him, uh, eliminator for Garcia versus Porter. Team 109, judges Kevin Morgan and John McKay see the bout. 120 to 108, all three in favor of the winner, your Denis Uga. How do you spell dominant? U G A S. Your Denis Uga is improving to 23 and 3, and again, even more important than that, he is now un remains undefeated at welterweight. Eight. Let's listen to his post-fight interview. Please subscribe. Let's go All to right, Jim Gray. Thank you very much, Mauro. Felix de Jesus will translate for us. Your Dennis, congratulations. Your eighth straight victory now undefeated at 147. You now become the mandatory challenger for a title and a championship. Are you ready? Felicidades, tu octava victoria en forma consecutiva. Ahora, en este, después de ganar esta pelea, ahora eres el que está en la pelea o el próximo para estar en la eliminatoria. Para una pelea de... Bueno, sí, eh, ganamos hoy. Y pienso que todo el mundo vio el talento que tengo y estoy listo para pa un campeonato. Everybody saw the talent that I had here today and I am ready for a championship. It's been a really emotional ride for you. You could have quit boxing and given up. Now you find yourself in this position. But on a personal level, your wife is also much better. Can you tell us about her condition and how much that has meant to you going forward and your ability to continue with this career? Ha sido un viaje emocional para ti en tu vida, especialmente con el problema que tuvo tu esposa. ¿Cómo está ella en estos momentos? Y tú iba a dejar el boxeo y seguiste. Bueno, sí, he tenido alguna dificultad en mi vida. Mi, mi esposa está bien. Y esto es otro, un capítulo nuevo. Y estoy listo. Estoy listo y todo el mundo lo está viendo. No, I've had definitely a difficult uh, life uh, strategy here, but it's moving up. It's a new chapter now, and I'm moving forward. Congratulations. Terrific fight. We look forward to seeing you soon. Felicidades y te vemos pronto. Gracias a todos los fans que vinieron aquí hoy. Y estoy listo para que sea. Thanks to all the fans, and I'm ready for whoever. Okie doke. Morrow, back to you. Okie right, doke. Jim, thank you very much. Your Dennis Ugas wanting to... Now, let's see how long it takes for him to get his title shot. So, you know, this was a fail, not a fail safe, but this was, you know, Showtime saying, okay, hey, listen, you know, this guy's going to be a mandatory, so let's get ahead of things right now and get him a fight on here because eventually he's going to have to fight for that IBF or in this case, that WBC title, just like Dominic Brazil, but when, which puts the pressure on guys like Danny Garcia or Sean Porter um, um, and Errol Spence to fight bigger fights, to not fight you guys, a unification. 
You see what I'm saying? So sometime within the next year, he's going to have to get his title shot or be the WBC interim. Or the IB, you know, do you see? I mean, I would see Spence moving up um, to 154 before a uh, Danny Garcia or Sean Porter because of just overall size, even though Sean Porter's big, but height-wise, he'd be limited. But, you know, we're not saying that these guys are doing this or going to do this to avoid you guys. Don't get it twisted. But right now, please understand, like, you know, and for the hardcore boxing fans, we've seen enough politics to know that they're going to maneuver and finesse to make sure you guys don't get his title shot no time soon. Unless it's really, 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 really forced, especially when it comes to the WBC. Anyway, I'm Tistry Controversy. This is Tistry Controversy Live. We've got to get to the main event. Please subscribe.